Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today the tutorial is all about installing Android Studio on Windows 10. To install Android Studio on Windows 10, we just need to open a browser, go on to Google and then write Android Studio. Once you write Android Studio, you will be getting this first link which says download Android Studio, install Android Studio or download Android Studio and the SDK tools. Either of the one is fine because both are from the developer Android itself. So I click on the first link. Once I click on it, you can see a new page has come where it is from the developer's website and you can see Android Studio. So Android Studio provides the fastest tool for building apps in it. So you just need to go and click on Android, download Android Studio for you. Before that, you can see the download options and the release notes as well. So when you click on download options, it will show you Android Studio downloads. It will show you Windows, Mac and the Linux versions for you. So whichever is suitable for your system, if it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit, based on that, you can do the specific download for your Android Studio. Now I click on download Android Studio. Terms and conditions is what has been there. And I need to say I have read and agreed with the about terms and condition. I click on it and my download begins. You can see the latest version which is 2023.1 for Windows. It will take a little time for it to complete. And you can see that the download has been completed and it's ready to be loaded. Just click on the downloaded Android Studio and our installation window will appear. So here we are on to the welcome to Android Studio setup. We need to do next and we need to use select the component. So already Android virtual device is selected. So we just need to do a next. Where exactly you want Android to be installed, any specific drive. Currently, I am installing it under program files only. So program files, it will be creating a folder called as Android, inside which it will be installing the Android Studio. It will do select from all the options that it wants. So choose start menu folder. So it will be like Android Studio coming into the start and click on. So here all the setups are done and you just need to click on install. It will take a bit of time for the installation to complete because it needs to combine with the jar files, the java files. So now we can see it has said installation has complete. So setup has com successfully completed. So just need to click next and you want start android studio. So you can click on start android studio and click on finish. And here we are, our Android Studio. The latest version of Android Studio is loading up. And as Studio is loading, you can see it is loading the layouts and everything. Though I had worked first also in the Android, so right now it's loading some of the layouts which are already existing in my system. So here we are into the window of Android Studio. As I had said, I am already worked on Android. I just wanted to show you all the installation for the new version. So there are few things which are already existing in my system. So what's new in the Artifox? Now Android Studio has an option to work with Java or with Kotlin. So either of the programming languages you can work with. And I'll be also working on Java on my. So since my page has loaded, which is an already an existing uh, application, which I was working on it. So let's start a new application. So go on new, new project and you can select a new activity, basic activity, different types of options which are there like empty activity, full screen activity and many more. So these are the views which are available for us to use. Currently I'll go with empty activity. So there is nothing on my screen and I'll have to create everything from the base. So I'll go next. And this is where you have to give an application name. This is the name for which a folder will be created in your system. As you can see, it's in the Android Studio projects because inside C program files, Android inside that Android Studio got installed. So it is taking my system's user and inside that it is going to create the application name. So whatever name I give over here, that is what is going to get applied over here. So if I try to change the name as, for example, I just give it as first app. So you can see the name got changed over here. 
because this is the what name that comes as a package name also. So whatever I give over here, it will get changed as a folder name as well as the package name. So let's keep it as this. So you can see the minimum SDK that is there is the Lollipop version, which is Android 5.0 API 21. That means it got released recently. So you will be, your app will run on approximately these many devices because this is the latest version. So it will be working with all the latest mobiles and everything. That's the reason it is saying 94.1% of the device. So we are done with this. Now let's click on finish. So my project is loading. That's why you can see you are getting tip of the day. If you want to see the tip, you can click on next tip and it will show you some tips which are helpful for you in working with Kotlin or with Java. So currently I close. You can see over here at the bottom indexing Android SDK, Android API 30 platform. It is loading. When it's fully loaded till here, the progress bar is completed. Then only your entire code with layouts and everything will load over here. So we'll have to wait till it gets completed. So here we are onto the window of our first app application. So since I had already had a system in place, so I created a new one. So over here, right now we are onto the first app and Gradle is still getting builded and it's getting completed. So it's going to take a few more minutes for it to complete. As you can see, three minutes ago, it has started. So when it gets completed, our entire page will load. It's always to have a good practice to have your internet on when you are working with Android because there are always some of the updates that happen and the Gradle to sync needs a lot of internet access. So in that case, if your net is on, your app and your system works fine. So our Gradle sync is fully finished. Now you could see how much time it has taken. It has taken 1 hour 26 minutes 21 seconds 897 milliseconds to complete this entire loading with the Gradle syncing and the Gradle build is up.